Hey everyone, it's Jason here, Inkspit Designs. Got another great tutorial for you today. Something kind of quick and quick and easy, but something that will help you uh, with all a lot of your vinyl designs and just a, a technique you can use, throw in there when when needed. So we're gonna start here uh, with a new document. We're gonna just choose a regular eight and a half by eleven layout, just a sheet of paper, and I'm gonna start with some text. Uh, Motorcycle. Just make that in caps lock. Just size it up. Um, let's choose a stencil font here that we have. And uh, something that ha you can do quite often, you know, or that you see quite often for different things, is um, having part of a word cut out, you know, and part of a part of a word not. It's hard to explain, but let me just show you. Um, let me make a copy of this, put this up to the side. So one thing you can do here, let's, uh, let's make another duplicate of this and let's break this into two words. So we got the word motor and we got the word cycle, right? And we want to change both of these, select both of them and right click and choose create outlines. So now they're actual shapes rather than editable uh, text. And we're going to choose a, a rectangle here. It's just, I like to make it a different color than the text just so we can see what's going on. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to right click and go to arrange or send to back. Make sure this is a, the shape that we want it. And I'm selecting everything, going down here to the pathfinder tool and then choose minus front. All right. So now, we got the same same color on our text. Um, now we've got kind of a, a two, uh, a, a little effect here. One's cut out of a shape and one's just the word itself. And you see that quite often. Well, that's fine and easy. We've talked about that technique before, um, the minus front in the Pathfinder tool. But what if, a lot of times something a little more common is that we see the word, um, see the, the shape cut somewhere down the middle rather than separated into two words. Um, and if, so if you need to do that, again, we're, we created it, right clicked and created outlines. We're going to choose a, a square again. And let's say we want it down the middle part of this C here. Uh, again, I'm going to right click, arrange, send it back. And this time, see if we just chose the the Pathfinder tool, the minus front, we get half of the word and we get everything else cut off. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the right, the, the farthest side here of the Pathfinder tool and go to exclude. And if we click on that, then we get this shape here um, where it's it's cut out on the one side and it it cuts, uh, cuts you know, through that section there. And you see this kind of more often. Um, and you can, you know, Take it even further than that. Let's uh, let's uh, you know go with a different word here. Let's even use a different font, uh, a school font. This is one of the local schools in the area. Let's say we'll sew in a Bobcats. Gonna align those so that they line up in the center. Change them both to outlines so that we can work with them. I'm just gonna scoot this up a little bit further, a little bit over. And let's uh, go with any shape you want. Let's let's make a triangle here. So we're gonna create a square and let's get this, bring this corner in so we can make a triangle. Rotate it. Bring the size up a little bit by holding the shift key. And I'm going to send that to the back. Arrange, send it back. And now, if I select all these, and then we go back to our Pathfinder tool and choose the, uh, the exclude option. There we go. We get the same kind of effect with a different, different look. Um, and you can do you know, more shapes and stuff. Let's, uh, let's go 
go with the word impact and we're going to choose the font impact make everything capitalized shrink this down so we have a little more space here let's create turn this into outlines and then let's go over here uh, to our shapes and let's choose a star tool now I'm going to make a, a star um, and you see that you get kind of this the star with uh, the lines kind of I don't know it's a, it's a certain star shape well you can get the star shape that I prefer by holding down the alt key if you hold shift at the same time that you're bringing it it's going to keep it straight up and down keep everything aligned uh, let's change the color on that and let's bring this in and again this is all experimentation you have to see what what looks good with your shape and everything what makes sense um, you know where you think it would look good maybe sometimes uh, in between two letters works good for something like this or, you know what let's try it let's try it here at the end now if I select everything and choose my exclude uh, interesting effect you know you can see where it's applicable in certain situations um, you know if you choose the minus front you're going to remove everything so just uh, experiment with things. Another thing you can do, we see this sometimes, um, pick the ellipse, ellipse tool and just draw a long, very slender ellipse. Let's even go a step further and bend it a little bit. It chooses the warp option. These are all things I'm just coming up with on the fly. So. Not saying that this looks good, but just showing you the technique so you can use it in your designs. Let's uh, make it a little bit thinner. There we go. And this is a live effect, so let's see what kind. Of, see if it works. But we're going to choose everything and choose exclude. And we got kind of a weird option there, and I think it's because this circle is a live shape. So let's go up to object, expand appearance. There we go. Now it's not that arc warp effect isn't live anymore so let's select everything choose our option there and there we go we get kind of that that cutout effect so this is just something you can use uh, with your sticker designs you know for political type decals or names of schools or things like that you might put maybe you do the school like this will Sona Bobcats but you do a baseball you know a large baseball vector vector design of a baseball and you have it cut out through part of the words and you use the uh, the Pathfinder tool for that. All right, so just something to think about when you're doing your designs. Uh, again, this has been Jason with Inkspit Designs. Hit subscribe. Subscribe to us for all kinds of other tutorials and interesting stuff here on uh, our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter and on Facebook at the, the links below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Bye.